Durin is a cute operator. Durin is a race. And Durin is a country. In this vast land of terror filled with mystery and danger, there exists an underground country unexplored by many surface dwellers. A country of Durin, inhabited by the kind-hearted and cheerful people. They live in the underground away from the bustling settlements of the surface dwellers. Usually one or two kilometers beneath the surface. While appear to be primitives and isolated, they have some advanced technologies at their disposal. They are able to pioneer complex underground structures, making a complex yet effective arts unit. They are also an expert in robotics, manufacturing numerous robots with the different tasks to help the inhabitants, and even making a more fearsome robot than Unix with ease, and build a dome that can replicate the surface world, in which they built their cities and connected each city via an underground railroad network. In each city, or at least in the only city that we currently know, decisions are made by referenda through popular votes. Despite their explorer nature, the Durin rarely go out to the surface, unless for collecting some resources which they rarely do. Those who go to the surface are usually someone who seek fun, and curious about the surface. To the other Durin. This bunch is called adventurous idiots. Though there's no prohibition. So someone can go to the surface or go back to the underground anytime. The Durin are also peaceful and carefree people more than the Sancta. And they rarely got into a bloodshed conflict with each other. In fact, the concept of war, conspiracy, and bloodshed is very alien to them. And even though the Durin knows about oripathy, Discrimination or segregation against infected is nearly non-existent. Because of this, surface dwellers tend to see their underground cities as utopia. And the Durin too, are content and adore their underground cities. But despite their outward peace, life in the underground is never safe. Natural disasters like earthquakes can break their domes. Expanding originium veins also exist. Once active, it can explode and kill or infected the city inhabitants with oropathy. And according to our good merchant cannot. There exists an ancient calamity under the earth. Whether that is another monster, or something else, only time will tell. Now moving to the story. Just like the previous one. The game didn't give the exact date of this event. But it happens few years after Dozoles holiday. And sometime after the Great Chief returns in August 1098. So this event should occur in 1098 or above. First, we see Garviel and Unex in the Rhodes Island landship. They just got back from a mission and received an urgent letter from Tomimi. Who went back home to Sargon with Elysium for a vacation. In the letter. Tomimi explained that there's a Durin who seeks their tribe's help. And if ignored, the whole tribe will also fall into the same calamity. The letter that Tomimi wrote is way too abstract. And whatever that trouble is, looks like they will be in some sort of fight. To prepare for the worse, Unex already prepared custom-made weapons and armor for Garviel. But she only takes the new giant axe and chainsaw. Then rushed going back to Sargon with Unex. Shifting to Tomimi, Elysium, Inam and Adura named Stitch Canvas. They are currently in the Akahuala region where the tribe is located. Akahuala is a region in eastern Sargon, deep inside the rainforest. Where the tribes of Arcasauria, Libri, and Fidia live closely together under the rule of their great chief. After the great chief returns event, Inam is the current great chief. Although the tribe's life is prosperous under her rule. And she is more than capable to modernize the tribe. But she said only Garviel and her might can truly unite all of the Akahuala tribe. Back to Tomimi and the others. First, let me introduce you to Stitch Canvas. A grumpy Durin who lives in the subterranean city near the rainforest, an infected. And is one of the city's top architectural designer. Who came to the surface, stumbled upon in them. And has been living with the tribe for a month. Then one day he asked the tribe to help him fix some structures in his city. That can swallow the whole rainforest to the underground if left ignored. 
Some of the big brain and the tribe realize that Stitch just exaggerating the problem. But still, Inam sees opportunity, by helping the Jurin, she might be able to strike a deal that can profit the tribe. So she and the others decided to help their new neighbor. But first they must locate the lift to go to that place inside a complex cave. Stitch forgot his way, but luckily our guide of the month managed to locate the lift. For half an hour they descent using the lift. And finally, they arrived in the city of Zeruetza. Home to 100,000 of Durin. The surface dwellers drop their jaw upon seeing this place. Especially when they see the landmark of this city, the Great Aqua Pit, sitting in the middle of the lake. Later, while leading the surface dwellers to his house to talk about the problem. The surface dwellers can see life is lively here. Besides the hole at the top of the dome. It seems there's no big trouble or anything like what Stitch mentioned. Shortly, they stumbled upon a bunch of drunkards who offers them mead. All of them accept the drink, except Stitch. Who said he never drinks alcohol to keep his mind fresh. A Durin who doesn't drink, now that's an anomaly. Upon hearing that, bunch of drunkards chases him to give him the taste of alcohol. While the surface dwellers continue to enjoy their time here. Buying some new swimwear, and going to the aqua pit. Not long after arriving at the aqua pit. They stumbled upon a Durin who seems to be an important figure in the city. He called other people to take these strangers to the forum. The young man who is called Catch Light Race, is the design representative of the city. He brought the surface dwellers to an open meeting in a forum. And asked the people whether the foreigners should stay or not. After giving some silly questions like whether they like mead or whiskey. The majority of the voters doesn't mind the surface dwellers to stay and have fun. And stay and have fun they will. Catch then formally welcomes them, and revealed that the aqua pit is his creation. Shifting to Stitch who manages to get away from the drunkard. He meets with Edgert Hard, the environment representative of the city. Who is surprised to see him after he left the city. After some talk, they go to the aqua pit to see the guests that Stitch brought. Along the way, it's revealed that Stitch has some sort of rivalry with Catch. Opposite to his minimalism nature, Catch is way more, maximalism. And the reason why Stitch goes to the surface, is to avoid the pressure that the city has given on him. Six months ago, the city suffered an earthquake that destroyed a part of their dome. The water from the underground flooded some parts of the city. Supposedly the big lake in the middle of the city was the aftermath of that incident. To make matter worse, the originium detector and temperature control were also destroyed. But the citizens voted to let the dome unfixed. Because of that new waterfall, they use it as entertainment and built the aqua pit. The broken temperature control left them forever in endless summer. But the citizens like it this way. And since there's been no originium layer activity for two decades, the citizens also don't really care about the originium detector. Edge initially agree, but he can't ignore the danger of originium just like that. So he wants Stitch to fix the dome which will also fix other devices simultaneously. Not because he is the only one who can do it. But the dome was built by Finch Canvas, Stitch's teacher who left the city without a single word. Edge and others know repairing the dome will be Stitch's biggest challenge and achievement. So they want him to do it. And it's revealed Stitch has been making several proposal to renovate the dome, even before there is a hole in it. But somehow he stops caring. But nonetheless this is his home, and as a sufferer of auropathy, he agrees to handle the most dangerous threat, that is the originium. And it's also one of the reason he goes back to the city. He plans to make a new originium detector separated from the dome. Meanwhile, Garville and Unex arrived in Akahuala. With the high priest, they are navigating the complex cave to reach the underground city. Using a safe path will take too long, so they decided to jump straight into a pit. But surprisingly they land upon a pink haired Lupo. The Lupo went unconscious but soon wakes up, and confronts Garville and Unex. Without giving the Lupo time to explain, Garville assumes she is also from Zeruetza, so she scoops her up, and jump into another pit that is actually a hole above the dome. They then plunge straight into the lake, 
making quite an entrance. Upon reaching the shore they are greeted by many people. But the Lupo whose name is revealed to be Avdotcha. The city literature representative, who went to the cave to search for inspiration. Is cautious towards the outsider. Avdotcha is also someone from the surface. But she had already cut ties with it, and is now a citizen of Zeruetza. She knows more about the surface and its ugliness. And Garviel and Unex equipments doesn't helping at all. So before Garviel and the others can explain anything, Avdotcha already demands them to take a hike. But Garviel's entrance and super big axe already attracted several fans. The Durin also amazed by Avdotcha's fierce tone towards the surface dwellers. One thing led to another, the place got crowded, and the tension subsided. Later, Garville and some others are in Stitch's house. He indeed exaggerating that the rainforest will also be destroyed part. But he certainly needs the surface dweller's help. In exchange, the Durin will give knowledge, technologies and some other things. That will surely benefit the people of Akahuala. So Stitch explain about what he need help with. Stitch wants them to help re-excavate a railway tunnel. Build a railway bridge to connect the city to that tunnel and relocate the Originium Detector there. But first they have to convince the city representative to destroy the aqua pit that is blocking the railway. If the representative agree with this whole plan, they will make a new referendum. Master Reg already supports this idea. And according to him, the people are also getting bored with the aqua pit and already looking for the next landmark project. But Garviel is confused with one thing. This whole plan doesn't need the help of the surface dwellers. And Stitch can go convince the representative himself. But Stitch is an unsociable one, and hesitant to ask for the help of his people. Moreover, Stitch thinks the surface dwellers can make a better railway bridge. That really speaks the idea of his minimalism. So first in a meets Croc Diamond Face, the business representative of the city. And looks like Avdotcha's close friend. Inan try to talk business and convince Croc to tear down the aqua pit. At first she is pretty hard to convince, but then Inan shows her the videotape of the Dosso Less Warrior Championship. The demolition of the aqua pit, and the next big project of the new landmark, will surely attract the crowd. So Inan suggests Croc to make a couple of competition with those activities. The competition will stimulate the crowd to buy various stuff, and the profit will surely go wild. Meanwhile, Unex is wandering off alone to see the robots in the city. She fixes some of the robots and makes friends with them. She is then approached by Deculture Solvement, the industry representative in the city, who is quite lazy and loves to sleep a lot. After talking with Unex about the robots, she goes to the forum to talk about the aqua pit after some persuasion. Then we see Catch talking with Stitch. He knew Stitch wanted to destroy his aqua pit. And surprisingly he doesn't mind. Because he can see people are getting bored with the aqua pit. And once the aqua pit is destroyed, he can plan his next landmark project. Also, it's revealed that Catch had been always sending new home proposal just like Stitch. But both of their design always get rejected. The difference is Stitch stop halfway without giving a reason. And Catch being a positive person and all persuade his rival to propose the new dome design again. But he won't force him if he really don't want to do it. So instead Catch ask for a feedback for his maximalism dome design. Later, each representative gathered, and agreed to take Stitch's plan to the referendum. The crowd later voted yes to destroy the aqua pit, and then build a new landmark. And surprisingly, Stitch will compete in the next landmark design against Catch. And soon the Durin and the surface dwellers gathered at the lake. To have their last fun with the aqua pit. Even the grumpy Stitch has some fun here. Probably. Meanwhile, the Sargonian discuss whether Garvil will stay at Akahuala. Not only to unite the tribe and become a great chief. But also to become Lord Amir in the Akahuala region. The seat's empty, and if no one is willing to become a Lord Amir, Sargon's government will send someone to govern the Akahuala region. And when that happens, Akahuala will no longer be the free land they knew. 
but put aside that complicated stuff now, it is time to demolish the aqua pit. For a moment there's sadness in the air. But soon Croc announced the next event, that is a swimming competition. And the excitement goes back into the air. They were supposed to survey the tunnel after the aqua pit is destroyed. But since it is way across the lake, Croc planned this swimming competition. Besides, the real work will only start once all the equipment and boats are ready. The participants are Elysium, Garviel, and Master Edge. But since Master Edge is too old for this swimming competition, Avdotcha wanted to sub in for Master Edge, for the glory of Zeruetza. But Master Edge is also needed for the survey ASAP. So Garville tells Master Edge to climb on her back and she will take him there. This is a mockery to Abdodja. So she decided not to change into her swimsuit. And let her current clothes be a burden so that she and Garville are even. After that, the race started, with Garville in the lead. Meanwhile, we see Stitch and D-Culture. It seems the two are quite close. Like many others, D-Culture questions why Stitch give up on the dome. And why he hasn't start working on the landmark design. He doesn't say anything about the dome. But says he's not confident to attract the people with his landmark design. This man has serious anxiety problem. Since he wouldn't designing anytime soon. D-Culture asks him to deliver excavation and survey equipment to the others using a boat. The gangs then arrived at the other side of the lake. Garviel already working on clearing rubble around the tunnel entrance. But soon, Elysium who had already gone first into the tunnel with Master Edge. Comes back to Garviel and the others with a serious face. They discovered an active originium vein in the tunnel, a disaster. According to Master Edge, this will explode in less than a month. And the explosion or the dust particles will spare no one in the city. Facing the inevitable calamity, Master Reg and Avdotcha argues. Avdotcha suggests they clear out the rubble and fix the railway, and take refuge in the neighboring city. Master Reg disagree, as they don't have enough time for that. They're pretty far from the neighboring city. High Chance came into contact with Active Originium on the walls. And navigating and feeding the whole city in the tunnel isn't easy. Worse, some people will be left behind if that is the option. On the other hand, Master Reg's plan to build a temporary shelter also has a drawback. The dust particles have a high chance to get inside the shelter. No telling how long they will stay, and they can't sustain the people's needs forever. Worse, their only way out could be blocked. But then Garville comes in and suggests the third option. That is evacuating the whole Zeruetza inhabitants to Akahuala. This is naturally the best option. But Avdotcha doesn't agree with the idea. Not only because of her paranoia toward the surface. But evacuating this many people will surely attract the Sargon government's attention. And things will get chaotic. And the first to know will surely be the Lord Amir of the region above them. Little did she know that Lord Amir position is currently vacant. Garville thinks back to what Inam said. To avoid Sargon's government giving them problem. Garviel need to become Lord Amir and hides the Durin until they work things out. Garviel is hesitant, but if this will solve the issues she will do it. But just then, Tomimi steps right in, saying she will become the Lord Amir. Now, Tomimi is cute and all, but since Lord Amir is a serious job, Inam says she is willing to become Lord Amir herself. She is the Great Chief, a government messenger and scout of Akahuala and arguably knows more about politics. So there's no argument here. And she understands Garville's dream is to become a doctor, and cure oropathy. With that settled, Inam and Junex plan to head back to the surface. And brings back back up to enlarge the lift so it can fit more people. But first, they need to do something with the complex cave. Avdotcha then tells she knew there was a map of it somewhere in the library. So the three of them go there along with the high priest. In the library, people who see Avdotcha can see she's still against going to the surface. So the gangs tried to convince her once again. 
to trust in Garville's idea to move the city inhabitants to Akahala. And soon enough, she no longer have any objection to the plan. They found the map of the cave, and Avdocha go to the forum with other representatives. Back to Garviel and some others, they're looking for Stitch in his house. According to what Master Edge said, the Durin have this tradition to make sure their cities are in the finest condition. Before the inhabitants move somewhere else. And now the broken dome is their biggest attention. Master Edge and some others wanted Stitch to renovate it. And they knew Stitch wanted to do it too. All he need is an encouragement. Or else he will regret it for the rest of his life. But he is nowhere to be found after they learned the city will be destroyed. Catch suggests they search for Stitch in his old house. Where he used to live with his teacher. Then Garville go to search for this guy. Later, Garville found her target. Stitch locked the door, so Garville has to make a new one. There she sees Stitch, looking more miserable than ever. It is revealed that his teacher, Finch Canvas, saved him from an Originium vein explosion 8 years ago. Stitch survived the blast, but alas he caught Oripathy. His teacher then takes care of him, and taught him everything about architecture. But one day Master Finch left, and gave Stitch a mission. He needs to win everyone with his new dome design. And only then he will come back to Zeruetza. Stitch has already proposed numerous dome designs over the years. But his design always get rejected. And with his inferiority complex. He gave up designing a new dome. Garviel sees a problem. His ego is getting in his way. He's keeping all of his troubles to himself. Stitch never asks for anyone's help or feedback with the dome design. If he do that, he might be able to design a perfect dome in no time. Catch then comes in siding with Garviel. He confess that he feels he's not up for the task as a design representative. He also closed with Master Finch, and said he always wanted to leave to look for him. So he decided to pass the design representative title to Stitch. Giving Stitch one last push to fix the dome. And complete the mission that Master Finch gave to him. But this little guy is still hesitant. So Garville ready her fist to give some sense out of him. But instead, she punches the table in front of him to scare this little runt. After that, Stitch convinces himself to work on the dome. Meanwhile, other city representatives and many other citizens gathered to vote on what they should do. Avdotcha officiate the meeting. She announced the three options that the people have to avoid this disaster. She said the third option to evacuate to Akahuala is their best option. But also remind the Durin of the danger on the surface. By telling story of how she ended up in Zeruetza. She was a noble from Ursus, but conspiracy strike her family years ago. And one by one her family was assassinated. She managed to escape the slaughter, and got lucky to found this utopia. After Avdocha finished telling her stories, it's time for the vote. Then Garville comes in with Stitch in tow. Telling the people of Zeruetza, that Akahuala welcomes them. And Stitch, now officially the design representative of the city. Tell the people that the third option is their best bet. And they will also have enough time to dress their city to meet its doom. And as expected, the majority of the people raise their hands for the third option. A couple of days later. The work to evacuate the people and fix the dome is going smoothly. Master Reg makes Stitch work on the design in the forum. So that people can see his work, gain some feedback. And he can also share his ideas with the people. Master Reg also gives Stitch a letter from his teacher. That was left at the top of the dome. Telling whoever found it, shouldn't give it to Stitch. If he's not the one who will be going to renovate the dome. In the letter, Master Funch said that Stitch has a gift. Although Stitch or Apathy limited his lifespan. But it has made him see life in a more profound way. Making his design turn for the better. But his loofness is getting in his way. Master Funch wants Stitch to become independent from him. Share his work and ideas with the people. And persuade the people about the meanings of his work. 
until he can do that and become the design representative. He's not allowed to search for him. After all, they are architects, and their job is to provide designs that satisfy the masses. And Master Funch says that Stitch's biggest challenge is not in the design or construction, but simply how to become persuasive. Some days later, the people of Zeruetza have finished dressing their city. Stitch has done fixing the dome. And the majority of the Durin is now in Akahuala. Working together to build their new settlements on the surface. Catch already go to the other underground city to look for Master Finch. Inam will head to Sargon's Pardishar Palace to crown herself as the Lord Amir. Croc promised Inam to do some business with other surface dwellers. Particularly with Akahuala and Rhodes Island. So Croc sends Avdocha to Rhodes Island to become her representative. And we see the High Priest talking with Garviel. High Priest says her offhand idea to evacuate the whole underground city to the surface. Have already made a history. And who would have thought a backwater place like Akahula. Would be the first place to know such an intimate level of exchange. With a Durin city and its people. Sometime later. Garviel and some others are the last groups of people who evacuate to the rainforest. Soon they can feel the ground shaking from the Originium vein explosion. Stitch faints from exhaustion so Garviel carries him. Then all of them go to the lake to have some fun first. Well, that's all the story of the ideal city event. I hope this helps you if you don't have the time to read the story. That should be all. Adios.